sit down. And, and, he's such and then they won't come, come up here. <laughs> show, yeah. Don't try to imagine the camera's rolling, though. <laughs> they'll, they'll just, like, just torn it later. <laughs> I guess I could go down there and start and just, like, start walking up the stairs and leave a trail of clothes behind. Yes. <laughs> Do you need more clothes? <laughs> oh, right no, right. I'll start with the yeah, shoes, and I'll go with the socks, and then eventually I'll just come up here butt naked. You know, I think you're going to have to be in our next anime parody. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Considering that we do fan service farces. Uh -huh. you, I don't think you saw our show last night. <laughs> no, I did not. I do, dude, I do fucking fan service just for, just for the fun of it. I love to make people do fan service. Like, 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 we need your contact info. We do. <laughs> we do. Oh, you need more than that, baby. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's kind of there's contact. There's contact. You guys, it depends on which one you contact, and then there's full contact. I was gonna say. Uh, you know, okay. Do you want contact? I, I, or do you I, want? I used to think I wasn't. Contact. That's contact I sports wasn't was my thing. I but I guess it's just you know the arena of play then. It'll lead to seat wedding though. No. This is. <laughs> Did you go to Rocky Horror? Yeah. You did. I w no, I went to Rocky Horror, but I didn't participate in it. No, no, then did you do it in the Shadowcast? No, I was not the part of the Shadowcast. No, but did you see it? No. Yes, I did see it. Oh. Okay. Because uh, three of us were in it. Yeah. In it. That was great. In it. I didn't even see that. It was hysterical. Magenta was, and was, I was a tranny this year. Yeah. I was in the pink suit. Oh, that's right. I, I feel like I might have saw you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Probably, I did. Yeah, you were, were uh, you were there? Yeah. Yeah. Was the stage of the little film camera. He was the crim, he was magenta, I was that. You were magenta? Yeah. I, that was great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Much obliged. No. My little pony, my little pony. Well, if, if it helps the two of you, we are working on the Pocky, Pocky Horror Otaku show. I'm gonna enjoy this. That yes. actually yes, you are. sounds uh, really oh, great. We have we yes, already have the storyline. It is incredible. <laughs> we want more actors. Anybody we need more actors. I'm willing. Anybody I'm, ready? I'm ready. I'm willing, and I'm young and sexy. Is this our? Yes. 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 It's true. It hadn't been taught. I am so glad that I have the camera at the right angle right now. <laughs> so, uh, yes, if you need contact info, I'd very well like to give it. I thought the announcement was that they were real shipping up here. No one made that announcement? I don't think he did. Not yet. Oh, yeah, no, 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 I just spent the last like hour making pancakes. And they are delicious. I actually see you know how I Hey Chuck. We got it now, right? Chuck, at least tell me you're ready to do something. I think you now you all study and you get your homework for the previous night. Chocolate nights.
call on members of the audience to come up and be those characters. Yeah, it could be character as in person, character as in animal, character as in an inanimate object, character as in, you know, whatever. Anime object. Anime object. Anime. Inanimate object. Inanimate object. So the basic idea is you come up, you listen to the narrator, and act out what the narrator says. And so, if you are a member of the audience, is here to be here for the panel, you are welcome to volunteer to come up and participate. In more than welcome to be a yeah. character, yeah. 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 and all. Because I'm a big And the is awesome. And you are so proud of your hair all night. With the red, yeah. blue, and yellow. The yeah. yeah. world. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. And you're also going to be called upon, perhaps, because we saw you up here earlier. I, no. I'm, I'm you just know, an yes, you know. That's someone else. He's just someone else. Yeah. Yeah. He's just an ordinary person. He's just an actor. Yeah. I'm just an actor. He's just a dude with a big-ass bro. There's nothing wrong with the bro now. The first of my yeah. interactive stories will be the story of the stone cutter. Okay. Oh. This does not sound fun. I'm going to need someone to be the stone cutter. I will be the stone cutter. Right, travel down. Our first volunteer! Yay! Now, the story of the stone cutter begins. There was this lowly stone cutter. His clothes were nothing but rags. He worked hard every day. Yes, you wear nothing but rags. Sorry. Well, uh, you don't talk. He works hard every day, chipping away at the stone. His pants are torn and worn, and he works and labors to rend rock from this great stone precipice. Who can I get to be a great stone precipice? Tiny, tiny me. Oh. I, I, will, I will be the great stone precipice. All right, what? stay right here. You will be the great stone present. You are so much shorter than stone. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> like hundreds to thousands of feet high. In. I am larger than you. Are you the great stone precipice? Yes, really here. Really <laughs> <laughs> he chips away at the base of the great stone precipice. His huge, tall spire, and he laments about his life. I'm lamenting about my life. I am large. We're not. <laughs> he looks up from his hard day's labor and he sees, I need someone to be a rich and wealthy merchant. Me. OK. Uh, you, you come across his path, a rich and wealthy merchant. You push him out of the way. A rich and wealthy merchant comes so across his path. Oh, and he looks so lonely. I love being right. He looks up from his hard labor and sees this wealthy merchant walking down the road and he thinks to himself, how I wish I were like that merchant. How I wish wealthy. I were like that merchant. Wealthy. wealthy. And he didn't have to labor so hard. Time passes. Whoosh. Whoosh. And he has cash in his pockets, fine clothes. He walks the path and he says, this is good. He is now a rich and wealthy merchant. People look at him with respect. And as he walks the path, one day he comes across, I need at least five people. One person to be an official. Wealthy city official. You have a volunteer. <laughs> wealthy city official. And for and actually no, two people to be carrying her sedan chair. <laughs> but, so here is this man who's now wealthy and who should cross his path that a wealthy city official. <laughs> City official, people move out of the way for this city official. Anyone in this and says, but wait, this person has a great deal more respect and power than I do. I just 
just have money. This person has power, influence. And this person with power and influence holds more sway than I do. He thought, I wish I were like that city official with power, wealth, influence, names, handshakes, <laughs> time passes. Whoosh, whoosh. You two come back to you? Oh, oh, you. oh, for the love of you. He found himself in a sedan chair, for he was now a wealthy city official. <laughs> Get a skirt in this deal. <laughs> this was good. He now had power, influence. People would get out of the way for him. People would bow and say, hey, bye. And as he just have a destination yesterday, I was. I need someone to be a hero font. Someone who's way up there in the chain. Really powerful. The hair. All right. <laughs> 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 and I need someone to be the man with the hair beard beside an elephant. An entire army. Who's big and butch and right. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. 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 Army. I'm an army of me. Standing for oh, you. Right. She's an army of one. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, you were walking along behind your army. Go. He is driving along in his sedan chair one day when he is stopped completely by the preceding army. Preceding? Several men. A huge sedan chair. And he looks at this great official in his mighty hair and says, now, there is a man with power. People stop their labors and bow before him as he goes. Tipping the stand chair over. <laughs> this is a man who I wish I were, for people cower in fear from him. <laughs> Now, right. time passes. And the hair gets blown away. Still for hire. <laughs> he was now in that mighty sedan chair behind that mighty army. These strange circumstances keep happening, and he is rise higher and higher in this chain. He marches across the land, people working in the fields now make offerings to him and cower before him. Lo, as he's marching along, I need another volunteer. Who do I have to volunteer? Hold it. Right? What is it? You are going to be a storm. Woo! Are you sure this is a marshal's job? Being the cold wind? <laughs> yeah, he's the gust of cold wind in this house. Storm, come on. Go for it, Marshall. You know it's not just here. any storm, though. You're the best gust of cold wind ever. As he is proceeding along the road, I love you, Marshall. With the villagers carrying in fear something. Push his entire wing to the side. <laughs> it was a storm raging across the land. It was a storm raging across the land. Knocking down trees, tearing up fields, blowing up houses. It was a mighty storm. He looks at the storm and says, Now there is power. He had been a fool, for it's not. Man's power that he created it was real power. That was what he wished to be. The power of the storm. Yes. And so time passed. Oh, In very strange yeah. circumstances, he found himself Best storm ever. trailing clouds high in the sky. He was raging across the land. He would tear up the fields, flood the land. He had power. Yes. Oh God. <coughs> no. Stand here. And as he was raging across the land, he 
tore through and was stopped completely, nearly split in two. What is this? It was a high stone pinnacle, a great precipice. Standing high on the land, he looked down from his high lofty place and saw the villagers gathered at the foot of the precipice. They were laying offerings, and they were worshiping it. It was said to be the dwelling place of the gods, with this stone pinnacle, high and mighty, had power, influence over the whole land. This was power, rooted to the earth, Strong, stout, would last for ages, for he was a storm that rolled across the land, but could be dissipated. This would not dissipate. This was what he saw himself being. The very root of earth itself was power. Time passed, and even stranger circumstances. And he found himself to be that mighty stone pinnacle. He stood high and proud. Higher. Brother, brother, brother. Higher. You had better luck than me. <laughs> he cast a shadow across the land that stretched to the horizon. People came and worshipped before him. He was now a dwelling place of the gods. But one day, he heard something down at his base. What was this sound? Tink, tink, tink. Strange noise. It was familiar to him, but it had been so long since he heard it. Tink, tink, tink. Who would dare defile the base of the dwelling place of the gods? He looked down. Closer, and saw a man dressed in torn and tattered clothes with a chisel and a hammer, picking away the rock, pulling off stones. It was a lowly stone cutter. Remember this your place in life may not be as lowly as you think. <laughs>
for washing and returned home, intending to give the peach to her, her old men to eat. <laughs> Here's dinner. <laughs> now, what is this? Peach. I think there's a boy named James inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When she cut into the peach into, <laughs> out came a child from the large <laughs> kernel. James! <laughs> Well, you're not wrong. We <laughs> <laughs> all couple rejoiced and named the child Momotaro. Momotaro oh, oh, yeah. oh, James Chatsworth. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, Little Lizzie, because he came out of the peach. They weren't very original. As both the old couple took great care of him, he grew up and became strong and enterprising. Be your children to make them stronger. Be better, faster, more. So the old couple had their expectations raised and bestowed still more care on his education. Read this book. Did you teach him how to read? Then it's got to learn for himself. That's right. Momotaro, finding that he excelled everybody in strength, determined to cross over to the island of the devils and take the riches and come back. Oh, well, I like this guy. <laughs> I can't have my son do such a thing. Finally got some he once there. consulted with the old man and the old woman about the matter and got them to make him some dumplings. All right. Sure. Gold <laughs> dumplings. <Where's laughs> <him? laughs> put garlic in them. I heard you yeah. like Wait, wait, we have an acting doji coming in. <sighs> Tug of war. 
Tug of war? Yes, then came tug of war. We need a thing for the tug of war. We have a thing. Oh, you do? Yes. Oh, Sandy! Oh, yes, that looks better. Dr. Revive and the gold wind. Who knew? I can doji hit at Momotaro with an iron club. But Momotaro was ready for him and dodged him and quickly.
save the dog's life. And the dog was Sucker. quite grateful. And the, the dog began to talk to the old man. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and what he said was, in a show of gratitude, I shall show you where to dig to find gold. <laughs> the old man had <laughs> his slightly rusty shovel. That was convenient. Dug. <laughs> and after he dug for just a little bit, he found a big satchel full of gold. Wait, he's taking a while to dig. The uh, old man? The dog helps. Yeah, old man. The dog helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mean old man was watching all afternoon and saw this. Of course. And then he convinces the kind old man to lend the dog to him. Borrow that dog. He's a kind and naive old man. Now, the uh, so mean old man forces the dog to talk and tell him, where do I find treasure? Now the dog leads him to a rotten old log. So head to there. And so the mean old man says, all right. And he digs him underneath the log. You gotta dig it under the log. No, the mean old man has to dig in the yeah. dog. The dog is backing way the heck up. <laughs> the dog is smart. Because the mean old man finds a nest of vipers. Like I said. And the mean old man is even angrier about this. And the mean old man is a... Are you a nest of vipers? I am the viper. Yes. I am here to wash and wipe the windows. Okay, you run away from the vipers in terror. And you... Okay. Whoosh. <laughs> You are enraged at the dog. You kill the dog. And then to cover the whole crime, you burn the dog into ashes. Oh, no! Now, I thought we could do comedy. That's true. <laughs> Hold on, there's more. The kind old man has a dream that tells him to take his ashes. And so the old man grabs up the dog's ashes. <laughs> and in that dream, it tells him, go and sprinkle it over the cherry trees. Now, this was awful. There should not be any such thing that will happen. But I'm about to tell you, and this is the marvel of it. It is autumn, and the old man takes the dog's ashes, and he sprinkles them over the trees. Now, there is a procession going by. It is, it is the main we need, yeah, we procession. procession. Who wants to be in the procession? We need a very high and important person. Okay. You, yeah. sir. No, I am a very high and important person. You were a pinnacle at least once. Very important. Very important. Very important. He probably has a sedan. Yes, we need a couple of people for a sedan. <laughs> I'll be the replacement sedan chair, considering that the half of the sedan chair is busy. <laughs> Being all ashy. Now you are proceeding along down the road and you're passing cherry trees in autumn, there should be nothing like what you're about to see, but as the ashes scatter over all of the cherry trees, they grow bud and bloom almost instantly. You watch the flowers open right along in front of the old man's house. You are amazed and it is beautiful and a couple of petals rain softly down. <laughs> then you are so amazed at this, you walk up to the old man and say, for such a sight as I have seen, I give you great reward. For you give him riches, and even a promise of a fine meal. And the old man then, after his guests have departed, I mean old man hears of this, and he sneaks quietly over and steals the rest of the dog's ashes. Don't go anywhere, procession. We're not supposed to go anywhere. Okay. And he awesome. goes to his own house where he has many cherry trees that have no blossom. And the procession is proceeding along down the road in front of his house. And he scatters the ashes over his trees, hoping to impress this high and important man. But all that happens is 
The ashes fall and become small stones, showering him, causing pain and damage. The high official is insulted and orders the mean old man's immediate execution. Uh oh. Oh shit. That's what you give me. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> by oh. an umbrella. The moral of this. Hey, I tell you, this kindness takes <laughs> you much, much farther than in spirit. And be, and be, be wary of people in sedan chairs who can kill you at the moment when. And don't be cruel to animals. Don't Especially talking dogs. Yes, be nice to talk dogs. Talking dogs always give you money. Yes. 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 You have not an idea Now, now that you've got an idea of how it functions, does anyone have a tale that they would like to tell? Does anyone have a story, whether it be myth, legend, modern, that you would like to tell in an interactive manner? I open the floor up before we're, uh... And if you would just like to narrate, we have... Yes, you want to narrate. Yes, we like a volunteer narrator. I can narrate. Okay. Come on down, our great stone pinnacle. Awesome. Great stone pinnacle, second. Great stone pinnacle, second. Yeah, you can see my dolls. This is the one we just had. Um... on the moon, but all the Japanese know charming legend still see in the shadows on the full moon a radix threshing his rice. I believe that other countries see a woman reading or a man in the moon. All these legends show us that our ancestors looked for meaning in the universe. Here is the Japanese legend. Once upon a time, long, long ago, in the galaxy far, far away. A monkey, a rabbit, monkey. and a monkey. fox live together as friends. We need fox. animals. I need a monkey, a rabbit, and a fox. A monkey, a rabbit, and a fox walking in the bar. The man says, ouch. <laughs> During the day, they frolicked on the mountain. At night, they went back into the forest. This went on for some years. The Lord of Heaven heard about it and wanted to see if it were really true. He went down to them disguised as an old wanderer. I need an old wanderer. Who's going to be a wanderer? We have an old wanderer. We need an old wanderer. Wait, wait. You just got an old wanderer. What? We need an old wanderer. Disguised as an old wanderer. You're, you're disguised as an old wanderer. I have traveled through mountains and valleys, oh, yeah. and I am tired out. Could you give me something to eat? Said he, laying down his staff in order to rest. The monkey went <laughs> off at once to gather nuts that he presented. The fox brought an offering from his fish trap in the river. The rabbits ran through the fields in every direction. 
What came back? Nothing. Fish. The monkey and the fox made fun of him. <laughs> you really are! You really are good for nothing. The little rabbit was so discouraged that he asked the monkey to gather some thistles. And the this fox set fire to food. them. They did so. Then the little rabbit said to the old man, Please eat me. And he threw himself into the flames. <laughs> I the pilgrim was so pierced to the heart by the sacrifice and well, wept, saying, Each one deserves praise. There are neither winners nor losers. Except but the fish. little rabbit the fish. <laughs> has given an, except, an exceptional proof of love. So saying, he restored the rabbit to its original form, and he took the little body to heaven to be buried in the palace of the moon. I'm going to be buried in the palace of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a monkey. 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 The utter poverty of the little white rabbit is like that of a child who said, Pardon me, God, I have nothing to offer. Both exemplify the attitude from which true prayer arises. Whatever I offer God is really nothing in God's eyes. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow in the change. From Yas 117. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we need to so many to do it. Every wild animal in the forest is fine. Okay. 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 The cattle to the cows and you wait for the next show. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. And all the world that is it are mine. From PS 5010, comma 12. Is it just a bunch of quotes? There's more. Uh, no, there's more story right now. Okay. The worthy offering is a sacrifice. I think it's probably just explaining. Yes, it is. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. 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 We can all go down and get some last minute snacks before then. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. Dr. Pepper. 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 Dr.